In fact, what I think I'll probably do next time... Happy Friday. Today, I'm talking about punch. Swedish punch, to be exact. What is Swedish punch, I hear you cry? Swedish punch is a sweet liqueur from Sweden, obviously, that's made by combining lemon juice, sugar, and maybe some spices with Batavia rack, which is an Indonesian... Actually, let's back up. Batavia rack, not to be confused with Lebanese rack, is a spirit from Indonesia made from sugarcane and red rice. It was introduced to Europe by the Dutch East India Company. It was an essential ingredient in punch from the late 17th century to the 19th century. Since it's made from sugarcane, is it rum? No, but it is rum adjacent. The 2% of fermented red rice keeps it from being true rum. For proper context, let's try it. I mean, as if I needed an excuse. Some nice fruit notes, a little bit of smoke, banana leaf, which is common in other cane spirits that I enjoy. And that is odd. The phrase, there's nothing else like it, is so overused that it's basically meaningless. This stuff is unique. It is ever so slightly fruity. It is kind of vegetal. This stuff is a lot of fun to play around with in cocktails, and it's worth tracking down if you live in a city with a woke liquor store. It adds a nice flat alcoholic twang to anything you put it in. Okay, back to Swedish punch. Swedish punch is made by combining lemon juice and sugar with Batavia rack. It can be made by combining ingredients, but is most commonly drank as a bottled liqueur, which is where this bottle comes in. My old neighbor was kind enough to get this for me, and while this particular brand is now made in Finland, this is an older bottle, and it was made in Sweden. Let's taste. A little bit of citrus. Not much alcohol burn. This stuff is only 26%. It is very sweet, but the Iraq flavor is there. In Sweden, they drink this cold or warm. I could see this being a really nice after-dinner drink. The fun thing is that there are cocktails that call for this stuff. In fact, it was a popular ingredient in the two decades before Prohibition. Excuse me for one second. This is a doctor cocktail, and originally it was just Swedish punch and lime juice, which sounded a little bit boring, so I found another recipe that was a little bit more gussied up. I'll leave it in the description. It's actually nice. It's really nice. So the recipe that I found was Swedish punch, lime juice, and Jamaican rum. The Jamaican rum I went with is Dr. Bird, which is a blend of three Jamaican rums that is blended and bottled by Two James Distillery in Detroit, Michigan. It is extraordinarily good product. If you like Jamaican funk bombs, it's worth checking out. They're also very nice people. I would totally make this again. This would actually be a really fun drink to experiment with different Jamaican rums to see how it turns out. In fact, what I think I'll do next time is reverse engineer Swedish punch by mixing Batavia rack with lemon juice, sugar, and my own mix of spices and mixing that with the Jamaican rum. That's going to be a good drink. If you liked it, hit like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.